Hi, in this short video, I want to provide an overview of our Hitachi support, uh, specifically for the virtual storage platform, the HusVM platforms. The first place I'm going to start is our Health Insights or System Dashboard. And what this does is this shows me all of the controllers on the Y axis and all of the key performance indicators across the top. A couple of things to note, the colors are important, red means bad, yellow means warning, green means good, and blue means uh, it's kind of a relative color. We don't rate the IO rate based on one of the stoplight colors because it's not really a, an indicator of the uh, health of the box so much as is the throughput and the response times. The uh, rating is an indication of how much time we spend above the thresholds. Um, you can look at the thresholds uh, for each of these uh, systems by clicking on the thresholds tab. The thresholds are built into this uh, software and they're based on the make and model and the configuration of the systems. In this example I've got a, a box named HDS8 that's got some really some exceptions around the throughput and some warnings around the response time. You'll notice that when I hover over these it shows both the definition so you know exactly what you're looking at and it shows the rating. Um, ratings above 0.3 are indicative of too much time above the uh, high watermark exception threshold and the ratings around uh, that are yellow are indicating that we're spending at least 10% of our time above the, the low watermark. So in order to investigate further I just simply click drill down and what I see is all of the key performance indicators over time uh, and this is a great way to see if I have any correlations so I've got I've got in here the overall throughput the response time overall the front end read the front end write the back end IO rate and drive busy and then the port response time and then the read hit so I can in just one glance see the health of my systems and I see there's two two spikes on on throughput two spikes on back end but only one on response time uh, the different response times and one on the port response time so my constraint within the system on this second uh, the second spike uh, is when the system is constrained and I can tell that the back end drives are busy so are they're not that busy they're they're rated green it's all green and ha happy so I can tell that my issue here is on the front end and that front end constraint is driving the front end response time peaks. I can drill into that uh, with just a couple clicks. So I'm going to drill into the ports. I see that all four ports are basically evenly experiencing poor high response time. And then I can drill into that and see more information about the link and see information about which host group is associated with those so I know exactly who who is driving the load and I can drill down further and see you know more information about which uh, volumes and how the the volumes are connected so uh, that's an overview of, of just doing a real quick root cause analysis using our health systems storage insight now we also have a uh, configuration capacity and there's there's history here if I want to look at history or, or look at more uh, detailed information I've got my host uh, listed here so I can look at all the hosts for the, the different systems we also have some different views on uh, basically SLA views that you can define overall for response times or uh, port utilization or back-end drive utilization and and then we have some excellent views to show you how well balanced the system is so I want to look maybe at this uh, HDS 7 look at its ports um, what it's showing me is the green uh, dot is indicating the average throughput for the link the green rectangle is the 10th and 90th percentile and the yellow rectangle is the minimum and maximum values so it's a great way to see your statistical uh, statistical kind of view of how things are balanced across the ports you can see this one port has more workload on it than the others so it, it indicates to me that that some of the host multipathing is not working right so I would want to drill down on the that port to see which hosts are on it and then validate that their multipathing is configured correctly we also provide rollups of the host um, on the system and for these we've got IO rates response times throughput read miss and really if you want to edit the report and look at uh, other metrics you can do that as well uh, so lots of different ways to to drill in and look at different things. Uh, we, we also provide 
the uh, logical device level, uh, which we, we surface some default charts around the sequential um, throughput and, and also the percentage of sequential IOs, uh, the read sequential IOs, and um, various other, the right sequential IOs and various other metrics uh, for the, the um, logical device level. And then on the front end level, we've got your throughput, your ops, and your response times. And then if there's other areas that you want to drill into uh, and, and the data is provided, we will we'll be able to drill in, down into that. And then lastly, the back end um, summarized by the different types of workload, random, sequential, and, and then write D stages. And you can actually drill into the pool and parity group and down to the drive. So just real quick overview of the type of information that is easy, just available on our default set of charts and the drill downs and the relationships and the deep insights we give you in the storage uh, overview.